so this is our next problem design a suitable angle section to carry tensile force of 250 kN use welded connection uh, so uh, to start with the procedure is similar uh, that we have to uh, find out first of all the area of the section uh, so here uh, we have to assume the uh, weld size that is thickness and we are supposed to find out the length of the weld for how much uh, part of the angles we are going to uh, have the welded connection okay so here first of all we shall assume uh, uh, sorry calculate the gross area uh, which is uh, using same equation 1.1 into tg tdg divided by fy tdg is equal to ag into fy upon 1.1 hence this equation we have rewritten in this form and we are getting uh, gross area of the section as 1100 mm square okay now we again need to go to the steel table so here uh, we can see uh, before that i shall just show you the screenshot of the steel table uh, i want this much area 1100 mm square okay so here if you see this is the screenshot of the uh, steel table here i have selected unequal angles i can use equal angles also uh, so uh, if i am going to go for unequal angles here i can see the area column okay and 100 by 75 by 8 is the uh, angle section for which we can see area is 13.36 cm square okay its unit is cm square so if i convert this area into millimeter square i am getting this as 1336 mm square okay 1336 mm square uh, so i am going to select 100 by 75 by 8 let me check what i have selected yes 100 by 75 by 8 its value of cxx okay is 31 mm this is also coming from steel table if you see here is the cxx column center of gravity this is cxx in the geometry okay so this distance is uh, 31 mm if you see this is 3.1 cm and in millimeter it comes to be 31 mm this is required for welded connection okay this is required for welded connection so first of all we shall find now the area of connected leg area of connected leg is 100 100 okay this one 100 minus half of 8 which is half of thickness into thickness 8 so this comes to be 768 mm square then area of outstanding leg which is outstanding leg 75 mm this leg is not welded okay to the gusset plate so 75 minus 8 by 2 into 8 so this comes to be 568 mm square and gross area of the section is 1336 mm square okay so this is more than 1100 mm square either you can find area using this method or you can refer to the area given in the steel table both values will be same here yeah. 1336 okay either way you can calculate or refer the area then once this section is selected we just have to apply the checks uh, just like bolted connection here also you need to design welded connection and you need to apply check for strength of the selected section so here again yielding of gross section so strength due to yielding of gross section is uh, evaluated using this equation which is again repeated from previous uh, design problems ag into fy upon gamma m so this is equal to 0.91 into ag into fy so from here we are getting 303.94 kilonewton okay we are getting 303.94 
kilo newton so <coughs> you might ask where has this 0.91 come from it is the inverse of 1 divided by 1.1 that is 0.91 okay so 0.91 ag f1 so this comes to be 303.94 this is one strength second strength it is due to rupture at net section so again tdn is equal to alpha a n into f u upon gamma m1 alpha is 0 0.8 it is for specific number of poles okay uh, so uh, here alpha we are considering as 0 0.8 into a n into f u upon 1000 so that comes to be 438.21 kilo newton then block shear strength now block shear strength for welded connection is not calculated as for uh, bolted connection please remember okay so here what we have to do how do we have to find block shear strength for welded connection first of all outstanding leg uh, sorry connected leg 100 mm so p1 is the load into 100 so p1 into load uh, p1 into length of uh, connected leg 100 it is equal to how much is the load to be carried 250 it is given in the data if you see 250 okay 250 multiplied by some distance what distance is that it is length of the connected leg it is length of the connected leg minus cxx 31 we have already found this from the steel table uh, you can see here 3.1 centimeter or 31 mm so that comes to be 172.5 kN. now this is the load which is shared by connected load a connected leg this load is shared by or registered by connected leg out of the total 250 kilonewton load so the outstanding leg is going to share how much load p2 which is to be subtracted from 250 you subtract this load p1 from 250 you will get the remaining load okay now if these two legs have to resist this much load out of the total then there should be some welding to be applied these legs 100 mm as well as 75 mm leg both legs should be welded so how much length should be applied so for that we need to find how much is the strength of the 4 mm weld it is 0 0.7 into 4 into 0. 462. This is the standard equation again used from uh, IS code into 410. Okay, so this is 530.37 kilonewton per millimeter. Now, how much uh, load uh, proportionately should be there, or how much strength should be there for what length? So, effective length of weld on head side it means for the leg which is connected to the set plate for that how much is the load 172.5 convert this into newton so 172.5 into 1000 divided by this length 530.37 kilo newton per millimeter so you divide this you will get the length of the weld or uh, for length of the weld for connected leg of the section which is 100 mm it means 100 mm uh, leg of the section should be welded for a length of 325 mm along the length okay then uh, the outstanding leg uh, its length is 146 mm okay it should be 146 mm so this is our design of welded connection in bolted connection we used to find number of bolts and bolt diameter here we have to find what is the length of the bolt uh, weld length of the weld for 
connected leg as well as outstanding leg okay now total welded length is how much first of all we shall go to diagram here yeah. now here is the complete design problem uh, we are saying that 325 and 146 are the two lengths of weld okay so this total is 325 plus 146 so area gross area in shear will be 471 mm into thickness of the section 8 mm so that comes to be 3768 mm square and uh, tension area or gross area in tension this is gross area in shear first value second value is gross area in tension it is evaluated as 100 into 8 it is 800 mm square okay connected legs length into thickness so tdb1 is equal to 0 0.5 to 5 avg into fy plus 0 0.72 into atn into fy so that comes to be 730.71 kilonewton this is what is this value of this is the value of design strength due to block shear please remember this is how it is to be calculated for welded connection another value we have another equation again suggested by is code so 0 0.416 avn into fu plus 0 0.91 atg into fy so this comes to be 824.67 kilonewton so block shear strength for the selected section is least of the two and that is 730 this is one value other two values of the strength are 438.21 it is due to yielding of gross section. This is rupture of critical section and this is shear strength. So out of the three, least value will be tensile strength. So least value is 303.94 and it should be more than the given value, which is there. It is more than the given value. Okay. So the selected section is safe. The design is safe. It will not fail. And this is our uh, design of connections okay so here if you see this is our connected leg okay this is connected leg so welding should be provided for 325 mm length okay this should be along the length it should be provided for 325 mm length and for outstanding leg it should be for 146 mm if you see here Okay, so this leg should be connected at both the ends with this much length of the weld. This is our length of our design of weld. And this is our selected section 100 by 75 by 8. This is the gusset plate. If you see here, this rectangular part is the gusset plate. I hope this design problem is clear to all of you friends.